Noyan, 14.933. Score for him on rings. Very good. Well, going back to that dismount, you'll probably lose the value of it, Christine, because you'll get the C for the first bit, but you need to finish with a D, and the travelling bit was the D, and he failed, so he might lose the whole thing. Yeah, what a shame, because the work on the pommel horse was so impressive, but, you know, everyone has to have a final move as well. Court seat on ball, stand by for a big one. And he's a great vaulter, and that was a triple twist in the straight somersault off the top. He turned on, snapped, and then wrapped in three twists and really made it look like a piece of cake. And we can expect him to shoot up the ranks. Amazing. He can twist. Three twists. Called the Lopez. Fresh this year. They granted the name to it. That's the guy that did it first, but triple twists is a long way around. I used to think the old single tuck cigar was a big deal, but this is unbelievable. Unbelievable to come out of it as well and spot your landing and stop that twisting. I was going to say just that, Matt. You could see it took a lot of force to stop. It's a massive score. It's 16.433. He's up into third. 14.366. He's down into 13. Still plenty of gymnastics to come. We don't know. This competition, like we said the other day, has had more twists and turns than a gymnastic routine. <laughs> Kohai Uchimura for his second piece of apparatus. Starts with an undercut. Getting this single. Look at the leg separation there. The clean lines in the first hand stand lovely stretch through the hips not overdone how long is he going to be on the hand that's worth a d so far so. beautifully through the wuji and again in the other direction it's superb slapping the horse to make sure forward travel the magia backward travel the divado Oh, no, absolutely no use of strength. Pure swing, start to finish, 6-3 or 6-4 difficulty. That man is really on some. So secure. Absolutely brilliant. When he's qualified uh, for the Pommel Horse individual apparatus final, he's that good. He's, he looks so control, in control of everything, doesn't he? He changed the tempo during the routine, sometimes fast, sometimes slowed it down a little bit, so he could control each of the elements he was performing. Really, he looks absolutely in superb shape. And in fantastic control. Like you said, Mitch, real swing, no strength, lots of flair. And he looks like he's enjoying himself as well. I mean, you know, you come into an arena like this, a front of a home crowd, and you think, oh, how on earth is he going to react to the pressure? But his, his smiles are getting bigger as the pieces of apparatus continue. Kim. And another big vault on the way. Handspring, two and a half, twisting front somersault off. Lovely style. Chimura, 15.4, Mitch, you were saying. Scores over 15 is what he's after. Well, he's going to be up in the 16 soon. 15 gives you 90. So he's on for a 91 if he keeps this up. And he's got his best pieces to go. The boy. That's a little word to himself. He starts. Can he lay those ghosts to rest that haunted him in the team final on this piece of apparatus? It is, it's funny, every team's got their bed noir, and uh, for the Germans it was pommel horse, but that's better. It is first difficult move. Nice little hop travel out to make his sheer part. Oh, and a little bit high there, he did well to control the swing. It's laboured, but it's working, and there's not a lot. You get a little flicker there. This is more like 
the man that was European champion and silver medalist at World, can he keep going? The rhythm here is going to be very important. Keeps it. Well done indeed, Philip Boy. And look at the relief on his face. I'm so pleased for him. I'm relieved. <laughs> Absolutely, we saw him struggle so much in team qualification. They started on pommel horse in qualification, and they were all over the place. And then again in team finals, so good to see a gymnast pull themselves together. A couple of little areas that were deductible, that wasn't one of them, that was very good. And psychologically, he'll be in a good place here because he's had a few moments. He had one on floor and he had a little moment there, but he got over it and he's getting through his routines, which really helps when you think that maybe Lady Luck's on your side. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, uh, look at that. You can just see the relief on his face. You're going to come good. Now's the time to do it. 16.366. Kim's up into third. It's 14.466. Good lad. Keep it up. So, preparing for rings. That is exactly where Kuksenkov is at the moment. He did rings the team final for Ukraine. He scored 14.4. Good opener there. Two strength elements. Lifts again, just could do with the feet right up level with the shoulders, but that's a good move. The gymnast who makes work look quite effortless. Has to swing, somersaults, and finish in the strength element. That's a good planche position. And a good, strong, solid handstand there. Swings forward. Oh, and now he's wriggling a little bit. Controlled it well. Into the double front somersault, which is really very difficult and quite unusual. But that was an efficient routine. That's the word that I think epitomizes this guy, efficiency. Senkov was in ninth after the last rotation. There's another one you can't write off. And, uh, he impressed it, didn't he, in Rotterdam? He got into the top ten comfortably. He was fourth all round, ninth the year before that, and uh, he'll get better as the competition goes on. He's got a lovely line and a swing to him. There you see his weakness, the strength positions. But he is an elegant swinger. And that double pike, it's not easy. Sankov has dropped to place, 14.5, but a strong rings routine. <laughs> so the gymnastics is finished for this particular rotation. Gymnasts will be moving on. First group will go over to rings, second to vault, third lot, parallel bars should see our fourth group swinging the high bar. Hi Bing Ting. Really powering down that runway. Lots and lots of height. And Teng Hai Bin has done such a good job for the Chinese team since 2003. He's been there. Reliable always. The only gymnast from China to qualify for the all-around. They went for the team title successfully, of course. That the double twist off the Sukahara entrance. Lovely style. And Tang Habin then proving his worth. It is a great vault. Two and a half twists. A forward approach. 
15-6-3-3 was the score for Teng Haibin. Situation then, Kohai Chimura living up to expectations. He's in front of David Belyavsky from Russia. Pascal Boucher, both of those bolted, of course. Javier Scossi is looking moving up there. Daniel Purvis down into 11. And score on Pommels, 14.566, which pulled him down a bit. Long way to go. A.G. Yamamura didn't have a happy outing on Pommels. He's down to 19. John Rosso as well. Pommels did him some damage. He's down to 21st. Well, Lewis Smith is joining us now just to talk us through the first couple of rotations. What are your thoughts so far? Uchimura, I mean, he's just amazing. He's impeccable, isn't he? I mean, yeah. he, he nailed his glory team. Um, you know, fantastic. I think you know Japan are back with a vengeance after yeah. slipping in the team final. And, uh, yeah, Uchimura... And, Completely smashed his floor, yeah, did his pommel routine beautifully. So. I was going to ask, what are your thoughts on his pommel horse routine? Because you're going to be up against that, aren't you? I know, he, d he kept a cool, calm, level head. Um, and I think he's just trying to put in good scores, because I think he knows if he goes through his routines you know, as safely as possible, then um, yeah. he's, he's going to come over the title. So. And nice to see Philip Boy is clinging on there. He had a nightmare in the team final, but yeah. individually things are going all right for him. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of, a few of the people had a few mistakes in the team final, uh, coming back into the all-around. And uh, kind of really sharpened up, and uh, you know, Philip Boy he got through his his, uh, his floor routine. Um, and I think it's tough, you know, starting in, in the top group with all the top, you know, best gymnasts. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think he's keeping his nerve well. He got through his pommels routine, um, so I think he'll be happy with that as well. And of course, another gymnast in that top group is Dan Purvis, who steered on his pommels, got through. Which the consistency is the key, really, isn't it, with six piece? Yeah, I mean, you know, Dan he's kind of keeping the, the men's spirit alive yeah. in, this, in this competition. Um, he did fantastically well. I mean, he, he aced his floor routine. You know, he said he's a little bit nervous. You know, starting with the big boys. Um, but you know, Dan, he's, he's cool as ever. He, a, a slight split on his pommel horse routine, but you know, he, he got a 14 score. Really yeah. good routine. Um, and, and what do you think about his spirit then? Just watching him from a distance, obviously. How do you think he's feeling down there? I think I think he's feeling good. I mean, he, yeah. he, after his floor routine, you know, he clapped his hand a little bit, and after his pommel routine, he looks upbeat. Yeah. Um, I can see his coach clapping away. So. Um, I, th I think he's in a good vibe, and I think now, you know, third rotation in, I think he's relaxed a bit. He's kind of got into the swing of things, um, and I, I think Dan, seriously, Daniel can um, push for a medal in this competition. Okay, well the scores are a little bit higgledy piggledy at the moment because of the high scoring vault, but watch this space. Dan is currently in 11th. Dan Oliver to the applause of his stepdad. Thanks to. He's a tall lad, Oliver. Upstart, deceited cross. He'll be very careful with the ring strength skills that he selects. That's a Honda deceited cross. He can do it again as long as the entry in is slightly different. Jonathan Yamawaki, all doubles, and that's a double layered at the end. That's very difficult. Now he's given himself a big swing. Made the strength part out of it. When he gets to handstand, if he's going to go forwards, dropping his feet first, that's very well done indeed. Putting the rings behind him. And he's killed the swing. That's absolutely brilliant. The full twist, double straight. It wasn't the best of routines, but his control and his focus to bring it back like that was great. I think he shows one of the best handstand shapes on rings. Back flat, really good style in that situation. And uh, I think that's quite typical of the younger gymnasts, that they, they have a real strong handstand shape and training. Good somersaults in here, the double straight, whips round, and just really wants the feet as high as the hips on that and the hips as low as the shoulders to get the full marks for that planche position. Holds the shape here beautifully though through the dismount. He thought very quickly and put in an extra indicate after that missed double straight and I think that gave him the extra swing. But he did well all the same. David 